In this example, we're going to look at using the Copy Monitor tool. We're going to copy monitor some plumbing fixtures from the linked file. We'll also load some pl other plumbing fixtures and, and a water heater to finish the, the job off. So first thing we need to do is let's zoom into the WCs. And you'll see that I've actually already used the Copy Monitor tool for these WCs. And this is uh, represented by a symbol that shows that it's been copy monitored. The sink units over the other side haven't actually been done. Now copy monitor will actually allow us to keep an eye on the actual linked file. So if any of these items get moved in the linked file, they'll get updated. So first I need to do is go to copy monitor and select the linked file. Then I need to go to the coordination settings. And if I go down to the plumbing fixtures, and in here we've actually got type mapping. So you'll see that some of these have been set not to copy, so these didn't copy across. So let's use this, uh, the first oval sync unit, and we're going to actually select from the, uh, from the items inside my file, we're going to actually use an oval MEP, so that will actually give us connectors, and we'll use the, actually use the, uh, the public version of this one. So as a 635 by 510 and all I need to do is select that copy button there. It takes a couple of seconds and each of these items are copied across using that type selector so it will actually create the items that I have in my file and there you can see the copy monitor. So any changes in the linked file will actually be represented into my actual file. Let's pan down now to the classrooms and in these classrooms we have actually a kitchen sink unit. So I'm going to, rather than copy monitors, I'm just going to actually place a sink unit over the top. Just show how simple this is. First thing I need to do is go into the plumbing fixtures. And in here I go to my type selector. Now rather than actually sort of scrolling down, let's do a search. So if I do a search for, um, let's use kitchen. So KIT would be enough. And there's our kitchen sink units. So let's choose the 900 by 600, which represents exactly the same as we've got in here. And I'm just going to place that over the top. Now one of the problems here is we, we've actually used a kitchen, unit, a kitchen uh, family that hasn't got any connectors in. So what I need to do is actually load in a family. So it's as simple as, I mean, if I go up into um, the f uh, plumbing fixtures and then load family find the location where that family is. In this case, we've got an MEP version, which will give me my uh, connectors. And all I'm going to do here is actually just select the unit that I put in and change the in the, uh, the types. And there's my 900 by 600 for the MEP version. And you can see there's my connectors that I can use later on for connecting pipe. Now, if I right-hand click while I've got that selected, I can actually copy that across so we can create similar. Let me just hit the space bar to rotate that and place that over the top. Now, I've got another floor of these, uh, 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 these classrooms, so I'm going to actually select these two kitchen units using the control key to select the second one. And I'm going to actually copy that to the clipboard. So use copy and then you'll notice that paste is available but I'm going to use a line to a selected level so I can actually copy this up in the same location to another level so let's choose level 2 and now if I open up that uh, level 2 plumbing you'll actually see there's those two that I've just actually copied up so being able to copy objects from one level to another in the same location really quick let's go back to our ground floor so in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just add to show you how we can just add some uh, water heaters. So the water heaters, they're not plumbing devices. So in this case, under system, I go to mechanical equipment. And again, I need to load the family. So there's my water heater that I'm going to use for this project. And I'm just going to put that in to that particular room. Now you'll notice that the um, connectors are around a, a specific way. I want them facing the wall. So in this case, I hit spacebar and then reposition it. But the one I'd already positioned in, if I select it, I can just hit the spacebar again. 